My name is Jean Kim, and I am an associate professor at the Johns Hopkins School of Medicine. I'm a translational clinician scientist and a practicing rhinologist in the Department of Otolaryngology Head and Neck Surgery, and my niche area of interest is inflammation of the nose. I'm also the current president of the Allergy and Immunology Section of the American Rhinologic Society, our National Society of Academic Rhinologists. Our work group has most recently embarked on a study and review of the literature on the effect of climate change and the environment on rhinologic problems. And the impetus for this study actually came from our patients. We were seeing a higher incidence and intensity of rhinologic symptoms, which are discussed in this review. When we first started looking at the literature, we saw an exponential rate of rise of allergic disease that has occurred over the past hundred years. Interestingly, these curves exactly mirrored the rate of rise of temperature on this planet, and so we found this coincidence interesting. At that point, we engaged some of our expert climate scientist colleagues from Johns Hopkins University to help us in understanding the potential of this relationship. In our studies, we found some examples where we thought there may be a real potential of a causal relationship between climate effects and several rhinologic diseases. In addition, it became clear to us that we need an improved informational infrastructure in our healthcare system in order to study this on a more deeper, more rigorous, and scientific level. And so we hope that this paper, which is part review and part editorial, will help motivate and stimulate collaboration between colleagues within our field, outside of our field, and the broader healthcare system. Thank you.